Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is a random read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel. And I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, you guys, I started shuffling, right? <laughs> and I was thinking, okay, I'm going to put some sort of intention instead of just throwing out what... And I'm like, uh, thinking. And, and, and what popped out of my mouth was, who's coming towards you? Okay? So I shuffled the cards with intention of who's coming towards you. And then right when I finish this song comes on who can it be now men at work you know who can it be knocking at my door <laughs> you know so this is perfect right it's not going to be the afterthought song i don't think but let's just see <laughs> let's see what's going on so i did grab uh the picture cards right so let's go through these a couple times and whatever comes out whatever comes out uh you know Ooh, one whole time. Some of them flipped, but they didn't come out. So it's whatever comes out, you guys. Shoot, maybe nothing's going to come out. Why? Oh, what? Oh, shit. Well, who can it be now? Who's coming towards you? Somebody's traveling either from, uh, this is my north and south card, right? Somebody's traveling north to south, south to north. All right. This is very specific. So this is trippy because only one came out, okay? So I don't know what that means. I'm going to put that right there. And that's it. I went through it twice. So I'm, I I got to take what what came out. So um next we have here uh this is the Wonderland tarot, okay? We're going to use this to find out a little bit of the story. Uh these are pre-shuffled. Let me just do an, another quick shuffly poo here. All right, let's get started. What's going on for whoever came to this this reading? Who's coming towards you, right? Who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you? It could be a Virgo because this is a card of Virgo, the Hermit, but it's a person who's kind of you know to themselves, really. That's, that's the energy of this person. Somebody who's to themselves, they're in hermit mode a lot, or they're, it's either they're like that or you are. I mean, I'm just saying, but this is the energy of whoever's, you know, involved is somebody who is kind of like a hermit modish type of person, like to stay to themselves, mind their own business, keep quiet, whatever, right? Maybe they like to, you know, spend time alone. That's nice. It's nice when you can, when you know how to spend time alone and enjoy it. You know, if you can't spend time by yourself and not enjoy it, something's wrong. You know, you, you should be able to enjoy your own company, right? It could be, oh, look at that. It could be somebody either who walked away from you or you walked away from them. One or the other. That's what the situation is. Now, that's one thing. Another thing here is that this person is walking away from something to go towards you. Or, you know, like I said, vice versa, whatever, right? But that's a situation here, okay? What else do we have here uh, for this uh, who's coming towards you reading, right? Who's coming towards you? Let's see. Who's coming towards you? Okay, look, the world. So the situation is currently that it's it's ended. Whatever you had with somebody here, whoever, it, it was ended. It was over, right? Somebody's looking back though. Look at somebody's looking back at somebody. So it may not be over, right? Somebody here might think a situation is over, but somebody keeps looking back. So if somebody here is wondering, I wonder if that person still cares or still loves me or is still my friend or whatever, you I uh, guarantee they're still looking back at you uh, about this ending. Okay. They're still thinking about what happened or I don't know what happened. So, I mean, whatever happened between y'all, right? 
somebody could have heard some, a message about some truth somewhere because we have the uh, Knight of Flamingos, which is like the Knight of Swords, and somebody could have found something out and gotten a message about something, or somebody's receiving this message right now that somebody's still looking back. I don't know. What could be a final outcome? from this situation you know we got somebody that's in hermit mode and somebody that's looking back All right look at temperance somebody's being patient here trying to find balance within themselves right now from this it could be somebody is watching someone who's in hermit mode or they're watching someone heal or they're watching someone do something right but i'll tell you what i on this side, the lantern, it's, I feel like, you know how Motel 6 says, we'll keep the light on for you. <laughs> I kind of feel like that right here. Like somebody is still holding a light for someone. And the other person in that situation is still looking back. Possibly looking back to see, are you still holding the light for me too? It could be vice versa, like I said, you guys. Okay. And, and there's a lot of patience that has been had right here in this situation. Or there's been a lot of healing. And a lot of trying to find balance within oneself, right? Or balance with the situation, with the relationship, with whatever this is. Look. The chariot. So, and look at how this these cards are, too. Like, somebody is watching. Could two people watching. Somebody's trying to play like they're not, but they are. And then we got someone else watching. So there could be several people watching or several individuals watching another individual. Possibly seeing where someone's going, how they're doing. But this is the chariot. And this is about making movement, a card of movement. And look at this shit right here. I just looked over. Boom. Somebody's traveling to someone. How? I don't know. Where? When? I don't know. But that's happening. Somebody is traveling somewhere and they're traveling towards somebody that they're watching. All right. So let's go ahead and put this to the side for right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a trade off right here. This is the Majesty deck by Bicycle. Let's go ahead and find out what's going on here. Oh, my goodness. I pre shuffled these. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. We got the Four of Wands. This could be a soulmate situation, old, new, whatever. We're going to find out right now. I'm going to do another quick shuffle because we saw that. All right. Tell me about the hermit here. Why is that hermit there? Or tell me, tell me about that person, right? Tell me about whoever this person, this hermit is. What's going on with that person? Okay, this person is not doing very well when it comes to balance. That's why they're in that mode. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It could be that they're not doing well with money. They stay to themselves because they're, you know, like I said, they're not doing very well. What else? What else for that hermit mode? What else for this person in her? Okay, they're trapped. We have the Eight of Swords. Somebody might feel trapped, and it could be they're feeling trapped because of this imbalance and lack of funds, maybe. Uh, I'm also getting maybe their car doesn't work or there's something like that. Let's get another card. Somebody could be trapped in their head about whether or not to go. Maybe they're just not feeling good about themselves or something like that. They could be self-sabotaging themselves also. Thinking, you know, this, that, and the other. When that shit ain't even true, okay? So, Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is telling me that somebody here is uh, pulling themselves out of this mental conflict, right? Uh, they have, or they they have. Because we they, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. And this is basically telling me that they're not, they're not dealing with that shit anymore. They're not worried about it anymore. But they are stuck. They're trapped. These these two cards would contradict each other, but but one's in the reverse and one's in the upright. That's how they're contradicting. So the, there's two separate issues here. One of the issues could possibly be lack of funds, lack of balance of some sort, right? Ace of Pentacles in reverse, not doing so well, right? Initially. And possibly somebody could be in jail with this Eight of Swords. That, that could be somebody in jail, stuck you know and of course if you're in jail you ain't got money you got nothing really but somebody is not worried about something so that is the energy of someone here it's kind of like okay i'm going to use a jail example 
It's kind of like somebody goes to jail. Yeah, they don't have nothing, right? But they're not worried about what's going on on the outside. It's like they have faith in something. They have faith that the family will still be there. They have faith that their woman will still be there. Whatever, right? It's like that. But this person, you know, that could be someone's story. I don't know. But this person is is stuck somewhere. It, it could even be rehab if it's not like jail or prison. or It could be rehab. It could be... Uh, somebody off to school. It could even be a student, you guys. Somebody in school, you know, students, they don't have a lot of money because they have to pay the school, pay for books, pay for tuition, pay for everything. So usually a lot of students are broke, you know, half of them living in their cars probably or something, you know. But, you know, this could be a reason why they're stuck, but they're not worried about what's going on back home because they know that everything is still going to be okay, you know. This could be this energy or type of situation of this person, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. Wow, that was kind of like a big, you know, I don't know. This may go to part two, but I don't know, you guys, okay? Um, all right. <clears throat> so we have the world card here, and I'm trying to figure out. So the world card, that position is usually the situation, but it could also be who you're dealing with. So tell us a little bit more about the world card, right? Why is that world card there? Tell us about this. Is there somebody looking back? Is something over? Is something new beginning? Somebody has choices. Somebody may be watching to see if somebody has choices. Let me see. Uh, somebody here, we have player energy also. So somebody here might be like in some sort of uh, in and out energy, player energy, because they have a lot of options. So this might be a person who is, you know, like that energy, like a player. Uh, maybe they're wondering if something ended with an option you know it's with the world card there it has but somebody is still looking back that's what i'm saying you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's what i'm saying you know what i'm saying and there will be some truth that comes in about somebody playing around somebody having options and about the ending you see that you see how i'm saying I'm telling you, it's some a message it could be a message a text a phone call something like that it's going to be a message for somebody i don't know Right, they might receive a message about somebody having a lot of options, being a player, but they're gonna they're gonna tell the truth though. Okay, there's a difference between being deceptive and being openly like I deceived you. You know, it's kind of like okay, I'll give you an example of me. You know, uh, somebody that I used to date at one time told me. I mean, I'm obviously I'm not with a person, but told me straight up, I will always cheat on you. That's being honest and out and upfront as you can be. How much more upfront and honest than that can you be? You have to respect a person for being honest like that. It's whatever, you know, you hear something like that and you make that choice. Okay, am I going to keep this person or no? Well, you know, it's obvious where, where it led me, but I'm just saying, you know what I, you know what I mean? You can't be mad at someone who's, you, know, you can't be too angry at someone who, who's being actually honest, even if it is fucked up what they're doing. You know what I mean? We have the queen of uh, cups at the bottom of the deck. Now this could be in the upright or reverse. You know, if we're dealing with that person, she'll probably be pissed off after hearing that shit. I'll tell you what, she'll be mad. I know she will be mad if somebody tells her that. This also, uh, this is uh, also the card of uh, the the empress in this deck. So somebody here ain't gonna be too happy, right? This is this is not a happy situation. <laughs> okay. Um, tell me about this temperance right here about this temperance finding balance somebody could be trying to find balance because maybe they were fucked up and they're trying to come i don't know maybe that that person who was jacked up to another person that person wants to come back and they're going to tell the truth maybe about what they did or what i don't know why is this temperance card here tell us about this temperance card this is a card of sagittarius to you by the way this one was first okay somebody this is the, the devil right which uh, indicates that there's some addictions or codependencies or something. So someone here could actually be trying to, you know, like I said, somebody could be in rehab or jail, right? <laughs> it's because they had a toxic energy going on, trying to find balance. You see, temperance is about finding balance. Equilibrium within yourself, make it equal. You know what I'm saying? The devil is right here, though. The five of wands is the devil in this deck. And then we have the four of swords, and that's the death card. Ooh, somebody here might. Oh shit, I got two thoughts, and one's bad. Okay, first thought is somebody here might be putting an end to the devil energy and finding balance within themselves, or. I'm, 
I don't know 100% of this one. I'm not going to say it because I don't want anybody out there thinking and worrying about that. I don't think it's that because we have the temperance card there, finding balance. You see what I'm saying? So someone here is is putting an end to the old ways of the codependencies. Maybe. I'm not, I can't make promise, okay, because, you know, it's not always 100. That could be for, like, one person or I'm hoping it would be for, like, everybody out there who has some sort of codependency, especially if it's drugs and alcohol, you know, because... I can't tell you how much better life is without those things. I'm just saying, okay? Could be this player who's uh, might be changing because we don't know if it's upright or reverse on this one. So somebody could be stopping or I, I don't know. Let's keep going. Let me see if I can get like one more card. Okay, one more card. Look at that. I think they're putting... It could be, oh, okay, here's something else now. So somebody here could be putting a uh, marriage or happy family to an end because of some sort of codependencies or some sort of addictions, right? Or, or somebody here is doing this to save or to have happy family, happy. Maybe somebody was all jacked up and fucked up and they realized, man, I'm never going to have a good life if I stay here in this shit. And they decide to leave, and then this is what comes next, right? I know how you feel. I know how you feel. I did this. I'm freaking happy as fuck right now, right? Because I'm traveling, having a good time, because I left the toxicity behind, you know? This could be another story for somebody. You know, it's a common, it's a common story for a lot of people. It's just played out in different ways. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So this is good. This is good. You know, if you are headed towards a path of, you know, cleaning your, your toxicity, whatever up and, and moving on towards, uh, what do we call it happy family, happy home or creating one, then you're on, you're, that's, that's the right way to go about it. You know, you got to get rid of all that toxic shit from your life, you know, and then we got the two of cups here, finding love. Look at that. You're going to have love, right? So I don't know. I don't know for somebody that's nice. You know, say, clamp your act. You know what? Drugs and alcohol are just not the happening. I mean, for some people it is, you know. But I don't feel like it's a happening thing if you're, you know, trying to be happy and live healthy. And that shit breaks your body down. makes you unhealthy and sick. And I don't know. That's just my opinion. You know, you guys are going to do what you're going to do. Some car just fucking flipped out and went, I got to see what it is. And I'm, I'm not taking it, but we're going to see. Oh, the three of... You see that? What is this song? Billy Joel? The Longest Time or something? <clears throat> Look at... We got the Three of Swords right here. Three of Flamingos. That shit flipped out as I was going to get ready to shuffle. I'm going to put it back. But somebody could be feeling heartbroken. <clears throat> I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Let me just... Gosh, I can't even get them to be positioned right in my hand. All right. Oh, look, the devil. There's some sort of heartbreak involving the devil or Capricorn or some sort of devil energy. I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Let me get the next two cards, please. What's an obstacle or advice here? Obstacle or advice. Obstacle. What's this? King of Flamingos, King of Swords. Okay. In this deck, he's one step away from the emperor. Not quite there yet. In this deck, he it's equivalent to the Emperor. But I'm just saying, because it came out this way, not quite there yet. And it's telling me that because somebody here still has some healing to do. They have some things to fix still, you know, if they want to be Emperor, right? But this person is smart. They're on their way, whoever this is. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but it could be any sign. You know what I'm saying? This could just be the energy of somebody who thinks things over, thinks things through, things like that right tell me uh and, and this is in the advice position so okay so we're not actually talking about this person as an individual we're talking about the energy and the advice here i think okay is to think about things before you make your moves right think it over be logical you know uh, it's gonna be head over heart right Make the right choice for yourself. And, and, and this is the advice I feel like, right? I don't, 
to do that, it's, it shouldn't be an obstacle. You got to figure out how to do what's right for you, right? Take some time alone, possibly. You don't want to get advice from other people. No, you don't want advice from me or anybody. You want What you want to do is go off on your own and think about things to yourself, right? Think about the situation to yourself and come up with your own conclusion. And don't tell anybody and don't get anybody's advice because that advice is what's good for them, not what's good for you. All right. Somebody needed to hear that. All right. At the bottom of the deck, look, page of pepper mills. This is like the page of wands. All right. Somebody wants something new, something brand new here. All right. <clears throat> so, I mean, I don't know. Somebody's coming towards somebody. You know what I mean? What's the final outcome if, you know, every, but everything goes smoothly and things are done, you know, righteously and friendly or I don't know, you know what I mean? What's, what's the final outcome here? I, you know, shoot, I, am I asking right? Maybe not. Uh, what well, could be a possible outcome, right? Because we don't know. Possible. Page of hats, page of cups. Somebody could express emotions. There's no fish in the cup, so there, I'm not sure about uh, children. Somebody might express that there is a children. Child might be absent there, right? Maybe somebody's gotten a separation, divorce, whatever. They might express to somebody they have a child, but they also might express some sort of emotion. So it's kind of like baby steps, I feel like, this situation. Like everybody is trying to heal slowly, trying to, you know, not trying to overextend look three of of wands look it's about waiting for their ships to, so i that's how i that's what i mean like you know like they're we're not we're waiting to do things right like we're not ready yet so we gotta wait a little longer for a little more healing that's how i feel why this three of you know swords is there in that situation she wants somebody's peeking though there could be what there could be people watching each other to see how each other's doing, but not no contact, something like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because look at how she's trying to peek behind the curtain, maybe trying to see, is someone ready yet? I, I don't know. Somebody's trying to get dressed. Are you ready yet? I don't know. But uh, let's keep going here. Tell me about this King of Flamingos. Look, I see the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. King of Flamingos, can you tell me about that? situation about this advice is there any extra we need to know is there any extra advice right if that's the advice position what's extra okay we have a queen of swords in the reverse now this person uh doesn't is irrational this person doesn't think properly so we could be dealing with a person like this but the advice is you need to be like this. You see what I'm saying? Someone here is not like this. This is the advice. This is double confirmation. Don't be angry and don't think this is about the queen of swords in reverse is like bad decisions, hasty decisions, rash decisions, being nasty, being rude, being, you know, unbalanced right? Somebody out there might naturally be like that, not know it. Or somebody out there is just like, I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to listen to her. Well, that's fine. You don't have to. It's okay. It's no problem for me because I'm not living your life. But I'm saying I might be talking to someone who's like this, but the advice here is to be like this. Be smart. Think things over. Don't make rash decisions. Be logical, right? Let me get two more cards. I'm just saying because, you know, we do. I know there might be some people who are pushy out there who are just like, I don't get back. Okay, fine. It's cool with me. I, I'm cool with that. I, I do my own thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we do have eight of cups here. So it could also be that somebody who is thinking rationally is going to leave somebody who's not thinking rationally. Who's like, you know, maybe even just talking to, this is also the moon card. Somebody may have thought that this person was their person. You know, we got the, the eight, king of flamingos in the upright. This is the queen of, if she, if it was this, it would be the same suit, queen of swords, but they're not right together because one is in reverse. You see that this king of flamingos is like king of swords. Look, it's right there. So, you know, I'm saying somebody might separate from somebody who's just bitchy or something like that. 
bitchy, naggy, doesn't think things over, angry, right? Somebody might be leaving someone like that. Look, the Eight of Cups walking away because they thought this person maybe it was an illusion, right? Third party situation. So somebody's going somewhere. Somebody's leaving something to go somewhere else. This guy looks like he's headed that way. And he looks like he's connected to the hermit. I don't know. I don't know. Let me get one more card, you guys. What's this? Okay, somebody's leaving. And there's some sort of um, message involved in leaving. And this involves money. This could be why somebody might feel like they can't go anywhere or something because they might be tied to some sort of finances or something. Like if they leave, they're going to lose everything or what. Well, you know what? Look at it this way. Either you can be stuck in this and don't want to separate yourself and just be ha unhappy the rest of your life. Or you can go find happiness and just rebuild something again. Happy. <laughs> right? I mean, it's shit. People start over all the time, you know, it's just whether or not you want to put in the work, you're going to be lazy, you're not going to want to do it, you're going to mooch off people, going to live that kind of miserable, go for it, you can do that too, whatever you want, but somebody, somebody might be walking away and looking back at like the money and like, oh, sh I don't know, there's something to do with money, I have no idea what, what that means, so, you know, think about that, somebody may have also Somebody may have also said to someone, oh, money's coming and it never came. It's still waiting. And, and, and somebody's trying to hold on to somebody that they're miserable with. You see that shit? That's why they're leaving. And watch, watch right when this person leaves, the money going to come and this person going to throw it in, in their face to maybe make them guilty or whatever. But you know what? I, I don't know. That's how karma works sometimes, but whatever happened in the situation. But you know what? Like I said, you can rebuild again and you can rebuild something firm and strong and happy. I'm just saying for somebody out there, you know, we can get a little quick shuffle. Look at that two cups. You see that shit? There's love somewhere out here, somewhere all up in here. I saw that card twice already. Page of cups, page of hats. What is that? What is this? What is a possible outcome? You know, if everything is done in a friendly <laughs> manner, shit. Okay, there's no options here. Okay, somebody here doesn't have any more options, right? That's maybe why they're. I feel like somebody might. It's not. You know, it shows car right here, but I also have in my mind somebody crawling. I don't know. That's fucked up. Uh, let's see what's next. Yeah, somebody has to make a choice because they don't have any more choices left. Right? Okay, so also I'm getting somebody. But there's no love there. Okay, so this is this is why somebody is in Page of Hats energy. Because their emotions are shot. Okay, somebody had them fucked up. Okay, uh, they were shot. And then maybe they were told, you don't have no more options. You don't have shit. You don't have nothing. No one loves you. You know, look, no one loves you. Look at the Six of Cups in reverse. Somebody broke, hurt somebody. Somebody broke someone's heart. Somebody really, really did. Somebody was very mean to somebody here. Uh, I don't know who this was. This could be the person that's coming towards you. Or I don't know. Put yourself wherever you belong. But in this situation, somebody got hurt real bad. And, and they also got treated real bad too, man. And, uh, but, but this, I feel pr somebody has a lot of pride or, or something like that, or a big ego or trying to make a choice on what to do. Maybe they don't have any more choices because somebody fucked them over. Or, ah, it sounds terrible. I know, but I'm, I'm feeling something like that. Uh, what's at the bottom of the deck? Oh man. And I happen to be holding it upside down, you know, cause I have to always check when I start shuffling, am I holding them right? I happen to be holding them upside down. Somebody was in a karmic situation, a situation that you were supposed to learn a lesson from. This was not the person that you were supposed to, you know, that was not your person. You were supposed to learn a valuable lesson. 
you are supposed to heal and make yourself better, whatever, blah, 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 right? But that's just telling what the cards are saying. Doesn't necessarily, you know, you don't, you believe what you're going to believe, whatever. It's just a story. But the cards are saying that this was a karmic situation that somebody had to learn from. They got, they got hurt. And I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay. No, no matter who you are, whether you're friend or foe, I'm very sorry. Because I know how it feels. Okay. So I'm going to put this right here. And, um, you guys don't forget to check the afterthought song. Okay. I already got it. So, you know, the afterthought song is usually in the drop down, you know what I mean? So you will know, uh, and you can listen to it before or after the reading, right? So what I'm going to do, I already pre-shuffled. I'm shuffling again. I'm just going to split these a couple times, right? And I'm going to grab these and I'm going to put these to the side and see what we have here. So the first card is surrender the idea you can fix somebody. Okay. I haven't read this yet, but I feel like somebody tried to get into something with somebody that they thought they could change. Uh, and there were promises made and the money never came or whatever, whatever. And somebody got their heart broke. You cannot fix anybody. I thought I could fix somebody too by showing them love and care. And that shit didn't work. You, you can only fix yourself, you know. Uh, we got all these people out here trying to, hoping to fix people. You can't, it's too hard. People have to want to change you guys. Let me read what it says. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Yeah. See you, you gotta, you know, if somebody is trying to fix somebody here, don't do it. You're not, it's not helping. You're not going to help. They got to want to change. And you're just going to put yourself through all kinds of misery and drama and all kinds of oh, man, chaos <laughs> shit, right? Look, perfect card to go with it. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. You got to stop. You are running yourself ragged. Somebody out there is, right? You're doing too much. You're trying to fix people. You're trying to, you know, you don't want anyone mad at you. You know what? How about how you feel? How do you feel? You're worried about everybody else being mad or upset at you. What about you? Maybe you're, I feel somebody here is around toxic people. You're around people who don't give a, a rat's ass about you. Because look at how you, all this is coming out. This is either you or someone you know. It may not be you. It could be someone you know. It's a story. Don't get pissed. I'm just saying, though. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. You know what I'm saying? Everything I do, I do it for me and my doggies. You know, I, I, I gave up on trying to make everybody happy because you know what? no one was try, was being cool with me. Everybody was being jerks and assholes, whatever, you know. So I decided to, to make my go find my own happiness. And I found it. And you know what followed? A lot of other happy, nice people. And that's what you will find. If you find happy, if you want to be happy and feel good and whatever, find that within yourself and watch how the same type of energies will flow into you nice happy good you know what i'm saying it's just that is just my little tidbit of side advice you know you're gonna do what you want it's okay it's no problem but that shit has worked for me like like nothing you know like i can't even believe so if this resonated for any of you guys don't forget to subscribe like comment and share also keep it true love energy happy friendly loving types we have nothing to uh to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful right yeah I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!